Hi there, traders and investors. Today is Friday, July 21. I'm online again with a fresh market preview prepared for InstaForex. Yesterday, my trading plan for the USD CAD pair worked out well. Perhaps today we will gain more trading results. The idea is based on large and small three wave structures. Let's discuss my trading ideas on charts. On the MetaTrader 4 chart, we see that gold is making a downward correction after the target at 19.85 was hit. Here is a false breakout followed by a retracement. I remind you that the bullish trend will be valid until the price settles below the nearest low of 19.44. The gold bulls will be able to trade in that area. Meanwhile, I don't see any trading signals according to the stop hunting strategy. Inner bean bars and retracements may occur during the overall uptrend. I assume that a lot of traders have recognized this mirror level and are planning to buy the instrument and a set stop loss below the above said low. In essence, they are right. However, potential profits are very modest. I haven't spotted swing points yet. What is going on with the euro dollar pair? Yesterday, I tried to buy the euro from a swing low, but my plan went wrong. My stop loss wasn't triggered. The news released yesterday destroyed my trading plan. The news benefited the US dollar, so I closed my long positions manually. Let me show you a one minute time frame. I went long on the instrument in the American pre market. I incurred a loss of a bit more than 100 pips. I left the market because the pair went down, made swing highs, and developed a sell impulse. I hope you didn't take part in this price action. Let's discuss the USDCAD pair. Yesterday, I planned to buy the currency pair on the 4 hour chart. I determined three targets. The first one was hit yesterday, it was the high of July 19. The second target is a swing low. The third one is the uptrend high of July 18. Today I assume that the buy impulse generated yesterday proves that a new three-wave smaller structure is in progress now. Thus, the instrument may grow a little. Let's apply the Fibonacci greed. Now the price is at the 50% Fibonacci level. The highest target will be above the 161 Fibonacci level. The pound dollar pair tumbled. It's a highly volatile instrument. Yesterday I wanted to sell from a swing high, but it again went wrong. Market makers were too sluggish. I read plenty of messages on forums that is the right time to buy the sterling. Why? A retracement is not the reason to go long. Where do we hide risks? I guess the buy stop losses will be crashed soon. The dollar yen pair has been extended its climb. I'm puzzled about the yen's weakness. Still, I see attempts to sell the instrument. Interestingly, the currency pair makes soft swing lows and sharp swing highs. We usually have time to plan long positions. Sell impulses emerge from nowhere. In the 4-hour time frame, we see swing low and high. If you want to try, wait until these swing points are tested. Now I'm staying away from the market. That's all I want to, to say you today. See you again next week. Good luck.